What's up, fam? You're now tuned in to Ring Kings Boxing on the PRO Media Network. Much love to the fam. Appreciate y'all joining for me for this installment of Ring King Boxing entitled Javon Tank Davis. He knocks out Roly Romero in round six. Now, originally said that Tank could get him out of that by seven, uh, but <laughs> Tank got it, got it done in six. So a lot of talking back and forth prior to the fights leading up to the fight and it ended up what it was supposed to be now uh credit needs to be given to roly because he fought a pretty good fight man he really did he got a little impatient remember you have to fight all the way through you have to be smart all the way through and you have to respect your opponent and uh, javana tank davis power in both fists and he was able to give a mighty shot that laid romero it just knocks him clean out straight up credit to the young brother he was still able to get back onto his feet but he was just he was gone you could see it in his face he was gone and i don't know if he ever got hit with a shot like that but even tank said that that shot that he gave to roley wasn't even uh he didn't even put all of his power into it so anyway let's get ready to uh go over this article right here fam uh, by him and, and and this was a really intriguing fight for some of the family members who uh, who more than likely, if you hadn't gotten an opportunity to see the fight, it was a very good fight. Romero uh, was winning the bulk of the rounds in this fight, to be quite honest with your family. He was winning the most of the fight. If you put the fight card on, you'll see that he won, he won by that scorecard. So, Roley was up in this fight and having a good fight. But remember, it always takes just one good shot. And Tank was patiently waiting to deliver that blow and boy when he hit Romero he went down like a ton of bricks but anyway fam let's go ahead and get into the press conference uh, of these fighters right here we'll play some of the uh the post press conference between both Roley Romero and um Tank Davis here we go First of all, huge congratulations, Tank. Thank you. That was a, an amazing fight, amazing night. Walk me through that knockout. Um, just, you know, uh, through the six rounds, I was just trying to figure him out, uh, catch his, uh, his range and see how hard he hit. And, um, uh, just him, I knew he was going to run into something because he wanted to, in that, yes, he seems kind of awkward. Was, and this one, he's not looking so big. He tried to throw his brick head, I think, and I just moved out of the way and just caught him running in. Where do you rate his power? Uh, he, he, he definitely got power. He got power. Thanks, Mario. Right, you're you're with Box 29 in Philadelphia, right here. Well, right here. Oh, yeah. oh, man. When you think about this fight, we saw maturity in you. Yeah. Throughout the whole buildup. And then the way you fought, talk to us about the patience you had in that ring and how you set him up. Because see, a lot of people don't give you that boxing like you, but I do. You set him up with that shot. Yeah, I mean, just, you know what I mean? He, I, I saying that, um, just the whole, even when we weighed in, I knew that I could out, like, outthink him easily. You know what I mean? So I knew that I was gonna, um, you know, outbox him, but it was, I thought I was gonna, you know, um, not knock him out, but wind up stopping him in the late rounds. But uh, he ran into the shot. How are you guys doing? Good fight tonight. Roly, can you uh, Keith Ida from BoxingScene.com back here? Roly, uh, can you can you tell us what you remember of what happened and then and the shot that Tank caught you? With? He caught me with a with left hook, I jumped in, and I mean, I just jumped into a shot. Do you agree with the referee's decision to stop the fight? I mean, I'm a warrior, I want to continue the fight, so I mean, if I could continue, I would continue. Did you feel you were winning the fight at that point? I won all six rounds. I won every moment of that fight. I exposed them, and we need to run that shit back. What well, happened, bro? Hey, Roly. Um, obviously, the, before the fight, you were talking about the first round knockout, but um, did you uh, want to be more tactical, you know, a more tactical fight as you showed in the first five plus rounds? Uh, in the second fight? 
no, t no, tonight you were very tactical, you know, very, uh, you know, you fought at your own pace t tonight. Was that the game plan going in? Honestly, yeah. I did not want to give. I mean, if I could have got first round knockout, knockout I would have done it, you know, but I know he's expecting a first round knockout, so I didn't, I wasn't able to get the first round knockout. So I was tactical throughout the entire fight. Uh, Rowley feels like he won every round and is already calling for the rematch. What's your reaction to that? <laughs> hey. Shout out to him. Did he give you any trouble in this fight? Was there anything about his style that was difficult? No. I think I need to start warming up more though before the fight. So I won't, I could be already like really warm when I get into the fight. Cause it was like, I was going into the fight a little cold, even though we was working out, but I think I need to be like more like, do some like jump roping or something. Cause I had to warm myself up before I can actually like get in the groove. That's, that's some of the fight right there by uh, the commentary by both uh roly romero and the champ javonna tank davis and shout out to um uh, much love to fight hype they combined that interview made it very convenient for us to kind of hear both the views and the vantage points from both fighters so man a terrific night of boxing as tank davis them gave a show once again a lot of talking back and forth but only one man ended up on the canvas you heard what roly was saying that he wants to run this thing back and i'm telling you off top to be quite honest with you fam a lot of people wouldn't mind that but my myself i think take davis is headed to greener pastures to be honest with you i don't think he gives roly romero a rematch i don't think that at all i think tank uh you know he's gonna get his business straight as this is the last fight with uh with mayweather uh, so it, it, he'll move into his own venture with his own career going down the line. And it's been rumors that he'll move up in class. We'll only have to wait and see from the great Javonna Tank Davis lays out a masterful performance. And you can see that uh, Roley was a very good uh, opponent, you know, despite the fact he came in uh, to the fight and he showed some skill. A lot of people just thought Ro Roley was a power puncher, but he showed uh, some acumen, some ring acumen. And I warned people prior to the fight that don't think for a second that Roley Romero can't box, that he can actually, uh, he, you know, learn, he can show some things. Now he has power in both uh, both fists and he has, uh, in, 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 you can look at Tank hit him with some shots and he was able to withstand him, but credit to Tank because uh, Tank said that, yeah, Roley has some power, but you've seen Roley Romero several times where they been laying some really good shots on, on Tank Davis uh, that, uh, he said he was hurt and I don't I ain't gonna say the man was hurting I mean he looked like he buzzed him with a shot or two but at the end of the day you gotta have a and let this be a lesson to not underestimate your opponents you could call them names and all this kind of stuff and say that stuff to psych them out but deep down inside you gotta respect who you're going against and of course Tank Davis is one of the best in the business right now uh, like he said he's been fighting since he was seven years old uh, he has a hundred something fights in the amateur class so he's he's a guy who's only going to get better and that's scary enough he even mentioned just a moment ago in the press conference uh that he needed to learn how to warm up that was like the great mike tyson would do when you would see mike tyson walking there with no robe early on he was already sweat already already sweating already uh ready to warmed up and ready to get the fight on so if javanta comes into these up and coming fights uh, already worked up it's gonna be hell on his opponents to be honest with you but shout out to roley romero man uh he didn't he wasn't winning all the rounds i think he, he still got his he got scrambled up a little bit but depending on what fight card you look at but the cbs fight card they were taking it straight from the punch stats which was showing that roley was up 49 to 46 and only one round showing to davis but like i said javonna tank davis is a dangerous fighter you give him one slither of light and he'll get you out of there power in both fists and listen he's not just a power puncher but he can box he's intelligent they keep sleep you well, i ain't gonna say they're sleeping on him but people just attributing the his record to power punching this guy this this guy is a guy that is uh is is an excellent fighter man he can do a little bit of everything so you better watch out for tank davis if you already didn't know as you can see roly romero 
was on the goddamn uh canvas after that fight so anyway uh this will only make Roland romero better looks like he's a, a a guy have a little bit too much i know you gotta have confidence but you know hopefully and in, in like in in sometimes when good fighters lose a fight it, it forces them to sink in and improve upon the things they were missing so he's going to be a contender in this class this fight will make roley better and tank davis is ascending toward the stars whether it's garcia whoever he fights next he is a star uh amongst you know he's amongst the best in boxing right now pound for pound so shout out to tank davis and keep your head up roley uh you're still there and you got a few things to clean up in your game but listen man keep fighting keep getting better man and you're gonna be fine so that's that'll do it for ring kings boxing our recap on the tank davis and uh, um roley romero fight as tank gets him out of there in six i said seven but tank got him out of there in six with a sliding left hook he said he didn't even hit him with all his power so i can imagine he said he didn't even hit him as with as much force as he could he knocked him out with his left punch so i'm in with a left hook so but the thing is i think what intensified it too is the fact that he ran into it that would magnify the the punch he got a flat straight and you can see he just he, he knocked roley romero out he's a tough kid he was able to get up from that and he couldn't quite make the you know in terms of respond to the referee and when the referee called it off you could see in his face uh that he was still not all there you see what i'm saying but anyway with that being said i appreciate you guys tuning in please feel free to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and share ring kings boxing with all of your boxing family members i'm big q chiming in this sucker and i'm gonna holler at you guys later peace